This week's Ivy Moon Club book is called Sock Story. It's set in a washing machine and it's about two socks who are the best of friends until one day they become odd socks and they wonder that now they're different if they can still be a pair. Here are some activities to keep you busy this week, all based around the story. You can talk about things that are the same and things that are different. What's the same about these socks and what's different? This is mystery socks, so you'll need a few socks and a few toys or objects. You hide one toy or object in each sock and then the other person has to guess what's inside just by feeling and not looking. Then the other person can have a turn. Some objects are actually quite tricky to get inside, so you have to really use your fine motor skills, your fingers, to push things into the socks. Another fun thing you can do is to make sock puppets. If you've got an old sock that you're allowed to chop up, snip the end of the toe off. You might need a grown up to help with this because it's quite, um, you need quite sharp scissors to cut through socks. Then draw around the hand of the person who's going to be using the puppet uh, to get the right size and then fold it in half and trim the edges. This is a bit fiddly this bit, you've got to put it inside the hole that you cut in the sock and then cut down the sides, again you'll need quite sharp scissors for this so grown up needs to do this job. Um, and then you have to put some glue on the inside of the cardboard and stick the edges of the sock over onto the cardboard to keep it in place. Once you've stuck that in place, you're going to use a piece of paper to cover up the inside of the mouth. So you can draw, you can use your template that you used before to draw the same size shape outline of your hand, cut around it and stick that onto the inside of your sock puppet's mouth. Next you'll need to make some eyes and nose and some ears. If you've got something like buttons or pom-poms you can stick on, that's great. Or you can just draw them on a piece of paper, cut them out and then stick them onto your sock puppet. Put your hand inside and your sock puppet is ready for action. For a quiet time activity this week, you could design your own socks. The back inside cover of the book has amazing illustrations of different socks, so you could use that for inspiration. Colour them in, stick things on, whatever you like. You can make them matching or you can make them odd socks. Once they're ready, hang them up on a washing line if you've got a bit of string and some pegs or paper clips. Instead of colouring, you could also use real socks. We got a few pairs and put them in the washing machine and then mix them all up. And then you have to find the matching pairs and hang them on a washing line to dry. I hope you enjoyed this week's book and activities and please send photos of any sock puppet friends for me to the Ivy Moon WhatsApp.